put an end to it? Actually, what we did not say in Germany is that it is not allowed uh, to export these products in general. What we say is uh, that you uh, that you have to ask for it and you have to have a good reason for it and then an official authority says yes or no to export it to another country. And if it is with a European neighbor country or if it is for an international health organization, uh, of course, uh, uh, it's more likely that we're going to say yes. Uh, but what is important is that on a case-by-case -case, uh, decision, we say yes or no to the export of these products because we just have a shortage, like every country, uh, of, of these masks, for example. What I find even more important is that at the European Union, we have a European Union a community approach to this. It is possible by the EU regulation that uh, uh, regarding third countries, the EU can do this too. And what I asked for in the Council is that the EU does this, and it does this quickly. By the way, if I might mention, uh, what I asked for too is that for the future, we ask our neighbor countries like the UK, like Switzerland, Norway, Serbia, other countries too, um, that we invite them as guests to our meetings because this is about security, security for our citizens. And this is not about just European Union, this is about Europe. And for this special uh, issue of, of uh, coronavirus and health security, I really do believe that we need our European countries, in, neighbor countries, in the room. Uh, 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 and that is actually what I asked for too.